Coming at you from the background. Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Super Paper Mario. In the last episode, we had our butterfly get kidnapped by a geek, and no one likes it when that happens. And in this episode, we're gonna hopefully find some clues to her whereabouts. Let's go! For those of you that are big fans of Super Mario Brothers, you are going to love this area. And to those of you that are not big fans of Super Mario Brothers, what the hell's wrong with you? Anyway, let's just go ahead and drop down this area. And does this look familiar? Does it? Uh, does it? Well, does it? Okay, fine. Yes, it's World 1-2 from Super Mario Brothers. It'd be kind of cool that if this actually appeared in 1-2 in this game, but it doesn't. But, uh, yeah. So, yeah, we are Mario in 1-2 with 8 8-bit eight peaches, and you know what that means? We finished the game 8 times! But, uh, that doesn't really do much of anything for us. We can actually see what this area looks like in 3D now. Which is, I always thought it was a really... Peach leveled us up, okay. Peach's death leveled us up. That's kind of the opposite of how I'd expect the official continuity to actually go, but... Wow, these pal pills. So much for liking the pal pills, by the way. They have not proven to be useful at all any time that I have ever gotten them. They just always kill each other or they mess up what I'm trying to do. Either that or I just suck that bad whenever I'm recording. Either way, let's just go ahead and get all these coins over here, even though it's kind of irrelevant because they're so easy to get otherwise. Uh, those over there are Gloombas. Uh, you'll see their information on screen, of course. Uh, in the area where there was normally a star in the original Super Mario Brothers, there is now that zombie shroom. So, kind of punishing you for trying to get a Mega Star, because it's like, hey, you've already gotten two of them in this level, you greedy jerk. Uh, can we get any others? Anything else? Nope. Okay, well, we're finally done with these Pal Pills, okay? Uh, admittedly... I'm kind of glad to be done with them. Because it just, even though I like them and they're one of my favorite things in the game, I'll just admit they don't work well. Here we can see there was actually a pipe here that you would not know was there in the original Super Mario Brothers. Establishing new continuity in old places. And we don't have Tippy here, so unfortunately we can't do anything. So we put the yeah, we can, okay. So in there I was like, I wonder if there's anything invisible here, but I was just like, oh right, we don't have Tippy, so that's kind of pointless. It'd be really bad level design if they had stuff here that you need Tippy for. I guess at the very least that means you don't have to be pointing the Wiimote at the screen all the time anymore, so... I guess that's kind of good. I, I don't know about you guys, but it just feels kind of unnatural having to let go of the D-pad and like... Because I mean, like, how are you going to keep moving your character and get out of harm's way like when you point at the screen to do that? It's just... I guess it's kind of just going with my gripe of the fact that this wasn't a GameCube game, even though it was clearly developed as one. Over here we got a Red Koopa, I already went over those. Red Koopas are smart enough to not go off cliffs. And then, over here we got a Mushroom, another thousand points. We could go through that pipe, but if you recall the Warp Zone trick that is in here, we got three Warp Pipes back here, and yes, they actually lead to places. So I don't know. Like I said, I really, really like Chapter 3 of this game because you just have so many, like, nods to just classic gaming in this, and they just really, really seem to pick up a lot at Chapter 3. And it's just, it makes the whole experience just a lot more rich feeling. Here we got a Magic Koopa cards, now we'll do double damage to Magic Koopas, even though those didn't exist in Super Mario World, or Super Mario World, Super Mario Brothers. Apparently there was a card of one down there, I guess Miyamoto was just back here drawing one day and he just, like, threw his scraps under there, and he was just like, nobody will ever find this, but we found it! And that is my revenge for all those times that I ever shouted MIYAMOTO at stuff! So right here, uh, we can't go down this pipe unfortunately, but we do have the Soccer Koopas. I actually don't remember what their official name is, but we got these guys. They are new enemies. They will kick shells at us. I don't know if they organically produce their own shells or if they're just really, really big bullies and they're just doing that to their own kind. Yeah, you, this is Bowser's Castle, and his burliness doesn't like chumps like you geeking up the place. You're about to get a complimentary nose job, courtesy of my shell. Come on out, fellas! Yeah! Come and get some! Can I blow this up, please? No. Okay. What? Wow! <laughs> I just jumped up there twice, and I hit the shells back at him. Anyway, I destroyed them without even trying to destroy them, and now I'm getting hurt on the regular Koopas. Boom! Knock them off in both directions at the same time. And we got a Bullet Bill. See, Bullet Bill, Bullet Bill Blaster. We're getting all these new enemies. Hammer Bro. We're getting so many new enemies here, and I can't identify any of them. This is going to be a nightmare for me to edit, all because they took Tippy away from us. Here we got a Red X, and... Good boom 
And then everyone died. Borg! Please tell me someone just didn't blow up my awesome lair! Hey! I know that stash from somewhere! Mario! And Princess Peach? Why do you always have to do that? That's like the hundredth time you've shown up at my castle and screwed everything up! Borg! I really wonder if it is quite literally the hundredth time or not. I'd have to figure that out. You know what? I'll, I'll get an exact number on screen. Uh, I know I'm gra granted I'm probably going to forget at least one, but still. But now you're entitled to a Fortress of Pain, Mario! No more sequels! It's gonna end right here. Right now. Once and for all! I think... Iwata would have your head for actually making it no more sequels. Anyway, starting off this fight with Bowser, uh, your main tactic that you're going to want to do is quite simply just avoid him when he's breathing fire, and then just lay Boomer down so he lands on him. I didn't quite do it right there, but you get what I'm... you get what you do. I mean, 7 damage per hit, it's going to beat him rather quickly. If I recall, he's got 25 HP. And he actually... Wow! No, he had 20 HP. No! I hate Mario! It's not fair! But yeah, he blew himself up because he breathed fire on it. Are you okay? Wow, she actually cared about us. Ah, Princess Peach! My lovely wife! Your wife? Tim, his wife! What are you kidding? How could you forget our big day? That sham was not a wedding. What are you doing here anyway, Bowser? How should I know? I was locked up in Count Black's stupid castle! When all of a sudden, BAM! Me and my minions wake up to face down in this field. Then we found this awesome castle, and I thought, why not make myself a lair? Well, you see, Bowser, we really need your help. Why don't you come with us? Wait, what? Aw, oh, Mario wants to make up. Flick got us married just to make the Chaos Heart so we could destroy the world. Yes, and that is why we need your help to find the pure hearts. I love this line right here. No, I don't want it. I think about it if I if I think about it if it was you, but there's no way I'm helping Mario. We don't have time for you to be a big baby about this. Come on, Bowser, please. This is the best line in the game as far as I'm concerned. But but I'm Bowser! I'm grade A 100 percent prime cut final boss. I'm gonna take over the world any day now. <laughs> I love that line! No way am I helping Mario, he's always trashing my awesome plans. Please, for me... No, I don't wanna. What'd you say? If the world ends, there's not gonna be any world for me to rule? Hey, same thing that he used in Mario RPG to win him over. And what will happen to your poor minions that were caught by Count Black? They've been brainwashed, and they do his evil bidding, not your evil bidding. Now your minions will have toil under a different and cru different cruel and merciless master. But, but, but why you? Mm. Warg! Fine, I'll join your stupid quest, you happy? Alright. Aw, she called Bowser sweet! No, I'm not helping Mario to save a bunch of worlds. I'm only doing it so I can rule some days. So don't get cuddly with me, Mario. Alright. Bowser joined our party! When controlling Bowser, press down on the D-pad to fire breath to breathe fire on your enemies. His breath is ferocious, so use it to drop any enemy that stands in your way. So Lord Bowser! Your crabbiness, are you leaving us? What? Oh yeah, minions, hold on the fort till I return! Or rather, more like hold down the pixels at this point. Your lair is safe with us, sir. All separate bricks of it. Oh sir, it seems that Count Blake has brainwashed some of your loyal hench people. They're probably going to be forced to attack you. They'll feel free to dole out punishment. Of course we'd love to come along and defend you, but... You know, we just, uh, get in your way, your hair, your hiney, your highnessness. Clobber that count for us. Yeah, anyone who wears a cape and a monocle is just begging for a beating. Wow, you just offended everyone in the UK. Long live King Bowser. We'll miss you, your surliness. Party! Oh, you guys. Fine, come on, let's go get your stupid precious heart or whatever you call it. I said move it! So, playing as Bowser, not only can he breathe fire, you might notice that he's a lot slower than Mario or Peach, and his jumping isn't quite as free. It's not like he can't jump as high, it's just that it feels kind of limited because of how slow he is. 
He also, as you can see here, his attack is double whatever Mario and Peaches is, so he does additional damage. So there's some advantage to playing as Bowser. There's actually a really, really broken strategy coming up later in this chapter that makes you just destroy everything if you play as Bowser or with a certain party member, but we'll get into that when we get into that. I just gotta say, I'm really, really glad we have Bowser in our party, and you'll see exactly why in the next episode, alright? So... Next time on Super Paper Mario, we are going to be continuing through the Bitlands, but for right now... End of chapter!